This is real. Oh, I'm not playing. This is going to be tough. Wow. This one's going to be tough. 4 a.m. Couldn't sleep. It's 10 now. 10 a.m. 12 noon start. This is going to take a, an effort from us today. We're going to have to call on all the tricks. Uh, would I get one hour of real sleep? According to my whoop band. It's the worst recovery I've ever seen, 1%. It's basically saying, bro, your body's not ready to do anything. But listen, all hands on deck. It's time to just do whatever we can. <laughs> I feel like I'm dozing again. Uh, I got so much to tell you. That hand last night, the one you didn't see was a sick call that I made. What the fuck? Why not? This will wake me up just talking about a poker hand. I called a hand where I limped the button. <laughs> Ten nine six four. I didn't even have a spade. Jeremy, call a small. Phil, check spade. Clubs, king, ten, five. Two spades and a club. Check, check, check. Turn is the... Three of clubs. Phil bet small, and I just know what that means. If he bets small, he, he, like he's too afraid on a double board, a double flush draw board with all the straight draws. There's just no way he's doing that with like kings up. It's just not possible. He would bomb. So I call, Jeremy calls behind me. I have the 10 and I have the four six now for the straight draw. Where was the king of spades? Front door flush comes in. Jeremy checks, Phil thinks for a bit. And then he bets 1.4 million. And I'm like, this is just dog shit. There's no way he has it. So. I clicked the call button. It took 30 seconds. I called him with a 10, okay? With a player behind me. I don't know if you understand at PLO how much of a sick call that is for me to call without a spade, without anything. And I just, 100%. It's funny because he bet 1.4 in my mind. All I have is a 10. And I'm like, I wish he bet more because I would have called more. Yeah, I played great. I played great. We did our best. And now, listen, we're going to have to do our best to find a way. That's it. We just find a way. We're going to choose. Somehow we're going to choose to tap into whatever resources our body has and make it work. That's it. That's what we're doing. Let's get the day started. Whew. All right, before we start, you know, a big old pity party for poor old Dean Eggs who won 500, whatever, you know what I mean? Because he only got a poor hour sleep. Like, first thought, what about all those frontline workers or those nurses and doctors who are in hospitals, like, working double shifts? I got friends of mine. He's, my friend's wife, she works in Toronto at a, as, a, as a nurse and one of those things, man. And there's times where she's got like one hour, two hours sleep for like a week straight, you know? So we'll do this, we'll suck it up. We're gonna do our little hang from the bar right here, which is what we do. We'll do what we do with two hands. But we're gonna do this, stretch it out. And then, yeah, go time. Hey pal, why are you awake? So you guys heard puppies bark. You heard that doggy barking. Oh, look at this! Holy stretch! How cute are you right now? Are you are you serious? Huh? Are you serious? Are you seriously that cute in the morning? Huh? Let me go. Come on, let's go to the thing. Let me ball belly rub you. Or you want to go outside? Come on, let's go in the backyard. My camera's all over the place. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, boys. Outside, up to the back. Here we go. Do your thing. You really want to go today, huh? Oh, shoot. There you go. Oh, fight, fight, fight. And go run, run, run. Run fast. They heard a puppy. Oh, Sunday's usually my day to get deep into the stats and the hockey and stuff like that. We're not going to have no time to do that. So I'm just looking here on my laptop. This is the day. This is the day that, this is the reason I picked up Jason Dickinson, Johan Larson, Pierre Edouard Bell, because I'm nobody. This is the worst lineup I've ever put together. This is bad. And the tournament I'm playing is a bad team. He's got Buffalo goalies. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. But this is, uh, this is ugly. Anyways, the good news is, I'm going to show you right here. 
All right, these are my choices, right? So I have, I'm definitely going to Islanders home to the Leafs versus Calgary at Boston. They both played yesterday. Uh, but look at that. Look at this lineup that I have. That's, that's it. That's all that I have. There's nobody else available. Okay, and then over here, that's, this is a bad team, but like, he's, at least he's got guys. They're just guys. But let's see what happens when we click on standings. Oh, um, yeah, looks like Cheap D is on top. Okay, guys, we got to do this. We got to do this. So here's the situation for today. Uh, this may sound silly to a lot of you guys. And I didn't even know and really until I looked this morning, but, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, today is a, it is day two of the 50K. And these structures, for some reason, these high rollers are all turbos. 40 minute levels. They played 12 levels last night, so we jump in. Um, level number uh, 13, which is 15 and 30,000 blinds, except for 300 can chips. So you're going to be like, what are you doing buying in with 10 big blinds? Seems crazy, I understand. But here's the thing, okay? The average stack in the tournament is only about 21 or 22 bigs. So it's already kind of like I said, crap shooty, right? So, uh, and again, we're much closer to the money. I think there was like 35 players left or something like that. It's going to pay 15 spots. We're going to look to win it. You know, I'm going to find, I'm going to find that inner whatever is there, that inner energy. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to test our body, test the limits of our mind and our body as far as we can take it. Because listen, we have a shot guys. You know, after that finish last night, we have a shot. This is going to be a fun race here. You got Josh area, J Josh area, Josh area, Josh area is in the, in the lead player of the year of course uh, with 3996 then you have Helmuth with 3600 you have Jeremy Osmus with 3200 Dylan Lindy 29 and then yours truly so we're in fifth place 2900 points that's going to require one win okay one win again provided those guys don't do anything we need a win we would have liked to have had one last night but either way we knew that we needed a win and something else we've got I think 17 caches on the world series of poker <laughs> 17 caches and uh yeah we're about even again thanks to last night you know but uh yeah we're gonna do our best here we go 50k 10 big lights there's also an online event which we can two table and at this point <laughs> we do it all man we just do it all all right we are at the rv it is 1106 the restart isn't until 12 i got here a little early make sure I get here. I, what I haven't done yet is I don't, I'm not doing a coffee just yet. So before I drank coffee, one of the reasons I never drank coffee was because it made me, you know, nauseous or whatever. And I think, you know, too much caffeine can be problematic for me. Like I start coughing and stuff and people are like, oh shit, what a COVID? No, 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 it's the coffee. So I'm not, I don't want to overdo it. And I know I'm going to need help today. So if I can, you know, last a few hours to start the day without some that's what we'll do. I'll make myself a sandwich. I didn't even have a breakfast there because whatever. So another thing, my brain's not going to be working at 100% today, but we're going to make the best of it. Um, I want to go and jump in and, and buy in because it can be a process. You know, the big lions, the, the fast track doesn't work for them. So I got to go actually in and uh, so I got to go in and, you know, get a ticket and then I'll go back to the RV, have a little sandwich. Um, and then uh, sit down for noon. How you doing, bud? Yeah, man. See you next year, bro. All right. See you next year. You out of here, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Tell me you didn't let him get another bracelet. Tell me you didn't let Jeremy him. Osmond's won. What's that? Jeremy Osmond's right, won. Cool, cool, cool. And I didn't let nobody do nothing. I played my ass off. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, keep it rolling, people. Keep it rolling. All right. Got my ticket. Going to go back to the RV. Got lots of thoughts running through my brain. One of the other things you got to consider too with today, because again, you know, these, they really cram these high rollers together. So, you know, we played till 4 a.m. last night, right? Well, upon reflection, we're going to play till 4 a.m. again tonight because they're trying to finish this 50K, right? So here's the deal. We're going to play till 4 a.m. tonight after we win the bracelet. And then, sorry. <laughs> and then have to come back again for noon for day two of the 100K restart. Ha! So tonight we are gonna sleep in the RV and that way we have a little bit more time on the turnaround. <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's really nuts.
right. Believe First hand big blind, second hand this. That man raised. We are going for it. All right, all in and call as kings. You have to make kings. <laughs> and I have 125. 200. Okay, easy game. All right, back to 330 after a round of play. This is some weird poker. This gentleman went all in. He got a little something, something. We got a little something, something. Good call. You have anything? I got something. What's something? Kicker. You have jack high. I have queen high. You have shoot kicker. It, he it. says I have kicker. I guess shoot it. All right. Shoot it, yeah. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Okay. Easy game. <laughs> Going to be a coin flip. There's Oli Shemyon. He has a pair of sevens. We no have chance, queen no no Who has no chance? Clubs, you have no fucking chance. Why? Bro. I have a good hand. Seven. It's the simulator, bro. <laughs> it's the simulator. He's a queen. You have spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> I have chance. I have chance. Okay, break time. We're playing, you know, old school. I don't even know how to describe this kind of poker when the average is so short. We have 700K. There's 21 players left. 17 get paid. So I just put in two hours and we're four out of the money. The average is, I think, about 1.6. Nobody at my table except one guy has the average. So a lot of shorties over here. Josh, done? Yeah. All right, get him. Chasing them points. He's got to keep the lead over there. That's Josh Arie. Okay, so uh, oh, is there any interesting hands? No. There's no, like, stuff that happens in these kind of tournaments, to be honest with you. They're fun in the sense that, you know, it's a gamble, but in terms of, like, you know, enjoyment, uh, they're not that enjoyable for me. Like, I like playing deep stacked. I like seeing flops and things like that. And right now, 14 bigs, well, not anymore, going up. It's just jam or fold, jam or fold. And honestly, guys, if you're learning how to play poker and you're new to the game or whatever, I highly recommend that's where you start, right? Just play that, get a feel for it. You know, two cards, go in or don't, like all in or fold kind of thing. You can actually play all in or fold on GG Poker too as well. Just to get a feel if you're if you're new to the game. If you're new to the game, what are you watching this for? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna keep on trucking. Do our best over there. Peace, people. One man knows Thank what's you. up. So yes. this gentleman had six time banks, right? And he was on the bubble and he used all six, not because he had ace queen. I had 10 five offsuit on the bubble. He had 10 five offsuit because he has just 150K, but because of his smart decision and paying attention to what's going on, he's now made $82,000. And look at those though. But he, he would have been happier to win this pot against me. That, he got those for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. He's knocking out back to back 50K. It's pretty <laughs> All right, well, looky here, we're racking up again. Mr. Jason Kuhn is racking up a whole bunch. So this is a true story. Jason Kuhn thought he'd take advantage of the big blind, and he moved in with 3-4 suited, okay? That's right. What he didn't know was that he was way ahead because the it. guy had deuce three suited and called off for nine bigs. I had him dominated. Yeah, just how you planned it, right? That's You're like, exactly well, I think this four high is going to be good. <laughs> just flop to flush. Flop to flush, no big deal. See All right, um, off to the final this. nine. They're dropping like flies as they do. There are eight players left. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, bowls, right? So, 15 minutes from now. Okay, 15 minute break. They add time for the last hand or whatever. Eight, hand, eight, eight handed, we are the short stack, which is fine. We have uh, 1.1 1 million, 1.1 million. We're gonna be playing 30, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of the math. It's really my brain is, you know, as you guys saw me this morning, it's a little off. Uh, what the hell did we just play? We played 1500. Thank you. So we'll be playing 6120 blinds. 6120 blinds, and I have uh, 1.1, so about 10. That's what I started the day with, so I'm okay with it. There was one somewhat interesting hand that I played. I was a little surprised that the big blind had this hand. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's do a little uh, whatever. I don't know. We can do a breakdown on this. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the breakdown. Okay, do a hand breakdown. Why not? People like, you like the hand breakdowns? Let's do one. Okay, so I raise, blinds are 15, 100,000. I'm uh, starting with about 2.2, .2. big blind, you know, big stack. Blinds are 15, 100 with 100 big blind Annie, six handed. I opened with sevens to 225. So a little extra gravy. He calls to 225. The flop is queen eight, five, 
two diamonds. I don't have diamonds. So seven of hearts, seven of clubs. He checks. I bet 200. He calls. The turn is an eight. Okay. And he does the thing, right? This is a very important concept when you like work with solvers. That eight, who's it better for? Remember, who's it better for? The big blind, not me. So I expected him to lead his entire range here. He bets 250,000, which means we can't fold the sevens. We must call with the sevens. He still has jack 10, jack nine, two diamonds, a five, you know, a whole bunch of hands. So we call the small bet of 250. And then the river is a six. And if he bets, I'm probably going to have to call this one too, I think, because a lot of stuff missed. But he decided to check. So we checked back with the sevens. He had queen deuce offsuit, which I think is too loose, if you're asking me. But you know, everyone has their own way to play. I think that's too loose. I would have folded the queen deuce. But, uh, and then when he, when he played it, I would have gotten value from the sevens. So I think he misplayed it, but that's, that's my interpretation. You know, everyone has their own views on how to play the game. Um, all right, so we're having fun. We're just gonna keep on trucking, guys. You know what? We win this, we're in the lead. Player of the year. <laughs> and we'd win another million dollars, which doesn't suck. All right, we're on the walk back. I'm bringing the iPad uh, just in case. So we're gonna jump into that online tournament. Just so you guys know, if you think I'm the one that, you know, like crazy doing what I'm doing. You know who else we saw this morning jumping in? Jeremy Osmus, Phil Helmuth, Ryan Lang, Dylan Lynn, Sean Deeb's already in there. All these dudes chasing the player of the year. They'll all be playing, we'll be playing. Uh, and then uh, jump into the 100K tomorrow after we win this. We are going to finish this one out, only eight-handed. Blinds are high. So this is fun. This is really fun. So the status, as we talked about this morning, is, you know, it's it's win. We, we need to win. So let's just, there's only seven people left. Yeah, we're the short stack, but who cares? That means nothing. We have 10 bigs. We started the day with 10 bigs. Come on now. Shit. Okay, so we're all in. My friend over here, the Queen Deuce guy, has nothing. He called me with a silly little pair and thinks that has a chance in hell. Nope, there's the pair. Oh wait, okay, whatever, over, same thing. Paint, please. All kinds of paint. There's good enough paint. <laughs> all right, so far so good. And I'll take it, thank you very much. I have a king. <laughs> right. Boys are gonna play one more hand. I was under the gun, folded that. We got 6.6 .6 million in chips. The average is 5.6, I think. Six-handed, tough cookies. We got a one-hour dinner break. Okay, let's do it. You'll be in the vlog too, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta pee really bad. I'm doing the pee-pee dance. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay, cheers. If I'm shaky, that's just pee-pee. I know. <laughs> it's dripping down my legs. All Thank right, you, so much. you got it. Good luck, Daniel. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so 6.65. Average 5.6. Here's one of the things I've been doing because I am very tired, to be honest with you. I'm doing my best to create energy and we're doing that. But I got one hour sleep and we're playing against tough cookies. So one of the things that I did, a minor strategic adjustment, is played a little more snug in the big blind because big blind battles, when you defend your big blind, it's tough, man. It's you, you gotta get in the weeds, right? So when you have these marginal hands, some of them, you know, against two and a half X or whatever, just fold them for now until I feel ready to push the envelope. There's a couple guys that are on the shorter side, Ali Amshurvich and uh, Jason Kuhn, and they're smart and very smart and they're ICM aware. So that means I need to push them around when need be, but I haven't really had the situation. And of course, Makita knows that he's a chip leader and he will do that as well. So one hour, here's the plan. Immediate nap, immediate nap. Uh, then out of the nap, coffee. Then we bring the laptop back out. We'll play the late stages of this crazy mini main event six hours of late reg in an online tournament <laughs> it's nuts well so we're gonna do that and we'll play at the table it's this this kind of poker sort of plays itself when the average stack is so shallow so i gotta pee i'm gonna run excuse me pardon me <laughs> My God, that nap was glorious. I literally came to the trailer, peed, did my business, and then slept a solid 45. The alarm actually woke me up, had to scarf down some food uh, as quick as I could. And I don't even know, I think I'm on the borderline late. I wouldn't say I am, but it's probably, I don't know, I'm really close. I'm bringing this all here. Uh, glorious nap, but my goodness, did I wanna just 
woo, sleep all the way through it. But it'll help, right? Every little bit counts. We're doing good in chips and we're just going to, uh, yeah, play good poker, eh? Okay, let's go, gotta go. What were you saying you're gonna drink? Tequila. Because you wanna deal with him? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, before yeah. you were funnier, but I missed the whole moment. <laughs> we'll wait till you say Tom Brady in a minute. He's having a blast. Drink, where's the tequila? Where is it? 2.5. Where's tequila? 2 I don't know where tequila go. You got your tequila somewhere. I got a Chinese tequila. Yeah. Chinese tequila, though. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> so we're playing this thing now, by the way. Boring. <laughs> Jerk three. Yeah, man, how can I miss everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we're Tom Brady. I miss everything. Oh, oh Tom Brady. Oh, uh, Tom Brady. Today is the, today is the, what day? Day off today. <laughs> <laughs> day off today, Tom Brady. Oh, oh yeah, you. <laughs> Makita just learned, by the way, who Tom Brady is. He literally said deadpan. Who is Tom Brady? Had no fucking idea. <laughs> While we play over here, D Dub, David Williams putting us in, so we're gonna gamble. And then, what do you got, Kings? Raise. Okay, that makes it easy. Oh, I hit three jacks too. Sick. <laughs> jack skins Kings, I make jacks full, no good. Unreal. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I'm out of this thing. Silly to even freaking play it. Base King? Got the Kings. Damn. Kings against nines. That's Ali. That's us. He's got more than us right now. So, need to hold here. Oh, four five. I can't even see from here. Oh my god. All right. 3.65. All right. I'm going to tell you about what Stephen Chidwick just did. You know, here's a lesson for you all. Learn about poker. He had 725,000. He bet 700,000 on the flop. Left himself a $25,000 chip against him. Checked the river. Missed his straight draw. Kept the quarter. Won the pot, has one big blind now, but made 80,000 bucks because Ali went broke in the meantime. All, so you gotta be smart and learn all this stuff. It's called ICM, right? ICM model model. <laughs> wow, I got the, bro, I got the nuts, man. I got the, I got the stones, yeah. yeah. I have a nuts. I got the nuts. I thought a pocket jack, soda. Oh. You don't have pocket jack. Soda, soda. 100%. Oh, yeah. I mean. I believe it. I believe it. Good luck. All right. All right. Club, club, I think. Yeah. Oh, no more. That's enough. Little ace of clubs. No. How do I uh, soda, soda, pack it here. Soda, my hand. Soda, soda. I believe, I believe you, you, bro. 100% believe you. Yeah. Good game. Nice playing with you guys. GG. Yeah. No, not this. It's 100% jacked. Damn, how you got jacked? Nice, nice. I'm so robbed. I'm supposed to get a pay job. Good job. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. Not a very good hand, but <laughs> no, no, no gamble, no, no future. Gamble, oh, no yes. Let's go, coach. Let's go, Daniel. Suited. Oh my yeah. god. Suited is nice. Hand. Hand. Check five. Suited. Yes, Check yes. deuce deuce. Well, Check deuce deuce. Check. I said yes. Nine. Oh, no! God. Oh. god damn it! Good game, man. <laughs> it's always the last card too. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be dominating. Yeah, yeah. You go get him. You take him down. Oh, Sorry, Boga. 
Okay. All right, so here's what happened. It was a really interesting final table from an ICM perspective because Makita had all the chips. Me, Jason, and uh, uh, the other guy, I forget his name. We were all around four or five million, so it was a lot of folding going on, just waiting for situations. And then there was a situation three-handed because after Jason went broke, where we both, me and him, had 10 bigs, right? And uh, he doubled. So now I'm the short stack, and Makita moves in on the button. And I only have six bigs, actually, as it turns out, after the blinds go in. And, you know, as you saw, I had Jack Five of Hearts, which is a, definitely a call in that spot. And then, you know, the, the, the flop was good. We flopped the Jack. And uh, it's been a weird theme, right? Where you notice it's like, it's the last card that's been getting us. And that's what happened here, the ace on the river. We were once, once again, <laughs> once again, we were one card away from, you know, doubling and have a chance. But listen, you know, like we started the day with 10 big blinds, put in a great effort. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but back-to-back -back third place finishes. Give us, uh, you know, some momentum going into this 100K, which we're just going to jump into in a minute. I'm going to go to the RV, get settled in, uh, put the stuff away, and then it's back to work. Christian showed up. You got that hand, right? He got the hand. He got the hand. So I didn't have to film it. Okay. Well, I mean, it's really strange, huh? Last card thing. It's like, you know, I mean, whatever, A6 against Jack yeah. 5. But like, <laughs> yeah, they give it. The, end. the whole thing is like from the emotional perspective, like the pain. It's like, if you're going to lose, just make it ace. But it's like, no, they give you the, oh, you have it. It's yours, Daniel. It's yours. Like in the final day, it's yours. You've got this. And then, no, three out. Okay. All right. On to the next one. All right, we're buying in, but I forgot something. Phil asked me for a favor, so you got to come with options with Phil. Because you know Phil's, he could eat. We got your protein bars over here. Yeah. Then we got you. These are like peanut butter chocolate oh, cups. Oh, these are good. <laughs> you I pick. love these. These are a little dry because they're protein bars, you know. How about but, one uh, of each? Whatever, take both. All yours. Okay. <laughs> you want that one back? No, no, you keep it, keep it. Oh, I keep them all. You got to feed the man. <laughs> man needs to eat. Keep that brain fuel going. All right, let's play. All right, so looks like we drew. 439.2. Where does that take us? Ooh. <laughs> right next to the man, the myth, the legend. Open seat. Here we go. I mean, <laughs> if you do something in this, you had a third at four in the morning. Yeah, I know. A third it's at like 9 p.m. I slept an hour. On one hour of sleep. And then if you do something here, that would yeah. be like, yeah. I mean, in three Having days. Having fun like, at the World Series of Poker, buddy. I mean, we got two more I days. Let's leave it all on the field, right? I took my exactly. Let's leave it on the field. What do we got left to do? All right. Here we go. for a week afterwards. All right, we got a three-way all in. We got diamonds and overs. King, queen, or a diamond. Or a five split. King, queen, diamond, five. All that stuff. Wow. That's amazing. All right. Jacks, we're going. 30K this time. One, basically one big blind. He has ace 10. We got fours. Hold, I guess. Okay. We're still in front. Uh oh. <laughs> Six nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you felt it. You do. It's the worst way to lose, too. Getting <laughs> yeah. Lose. All right. Good luck. I'll be back. So, didn't get a playable hand. Start with 600K. Opened one ace eight of spades and folded to a three bet. And got in with King Queen of Diamonds against Jacks and Threes. Pretty good spot when the flop comes four, eight, six with two diamonds. But uh, yeah, we didn't hit that one. So now we go back to the rebuy cage and we give it a shot with bullet number two. I'm gonna do it right now, because why not? I mean, let's go. I feel great. All right, it's midnight. I'm so thankful to be going to bed. I am exhausted. Just hit the wall the last 40 minutes there. Second bullet didn't go any better. We have uh, 330,000, started with 600K. Blinds tomorrow are going to be uh, 20 and 40,000. I literally didn't play any hands, and then I tried to steal a blinds once with 7 8 of spades, made it 60. Kerry called my 60K and cut on the cutoff, and then David Coleman went on. He only had 175, so he has like a. What is that? What the hell did I do? What is that? Six bigs? Yeah. Six bigs. He has six bigs. So I, I instead of just flatting the hand, um, just let carry in. I want to, you know, deny equity to carry because he can never really call, right? And then I get heads up with whatever random hand David Coleman has. And he had king 10 off. So seven, eight of spades versus king 10 off with the added value of carry's thing. We didn't win that one. So that's why we're down to 330. Yeah, kind of boring poker, to be honest with you. Just like shove or fold kind of stuff. 
I like the deep stack stuff, you know, but we're gonna give it, I'm so tired. I'm so, I'm sorry. I got no, nothing exciting for you. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really just appreciate this freaking head to pillow. Boom. Back at noon tomorrow. And we spin it up. What am I gonna have? What is that? Eight bigs? Yeah, we will, hopefully we have the button. That'd be nice. And then we can just spin it up like we did yesterday or today. Or I don't even know what day. They all run together. Good night, everyone. Oh.